Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 23rd, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, as we've seen multiple M-class solar flares since last night's update, and as well, multiple plasma filaments duly noted over the past few days. So we do have incoming space weather expected uh, G2 geomagnetic storm overnight tonight and into tomorrow. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming imagery, cresting into view, plasma filaments, eight sunspot regions to observe, sorry, nine, and as well, multiple M-class solar flares. That large plasma whip outgoing direction that was most likely from an M-class solar flare on the other side. Having a slower look here at all of the events over the past 48 hours. Active sunspot region there. Big plasma filament rip there that created a coronal mass ejection. And as well another one in the northern hemisphere. And equatorial region there. And then the M-class solar flares started to come. I've seen about seven of them in the past 24 hours pinging off from these sunspot regions back and forth. As well, notable there, plasma filament lifting. In the last few images, stay tuned for daily updates on our sun. Having a look at multi-spectrum, this is where we can see our coronal hole regions, which are the dark, dark blue. And there are two coronal hole regions developing in both the north and south hemisphere of our sun right there. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed here with daily events worldwide. Having a look at 171 angstroms here. You can see all of the plasma loops and umbras interacting on the nine sunspot regions. And a closer look here, just another light big sunspot black holes on our sun. Current space weather conditions, we are under R2, a moderate radio blackout impacts expected. But going into tonight and into tomorrow, G2, moderate geomagnetic storm impacts are expected. And then going down to a G1 for the 24th. But currently, we are under the R2, moderate radio blackout. Solar winds are coming in at 423 kilometers per second right now. But notable there, 180 SFU solar influx. And that was up over 198 yesterday. Having a look at here, the solar X-ray sorry, solar X -ray flux showing multiple M-class solar flares. Looks to be about six of them the past 48 hours and as well multiple C-class solar flares. Solar proton flux starting to come down. Geomagnetic activity is coming down as well, most likely rising again tonight. Having a look here at Space Weather Prediction Center, showing their space weather spiral. Pretty large CME taking off from our sun yet again yesterday and that is expected to impact earth 25th of january into the 26th iswa was showing the same thing another earth facing coronal mass ejection And as well, another one taking off towards Mercury. Outgoing CME. Pretty sizable, though, as well. Now let's have a look at Alaska, too, showing all the of our sun's energy leaving the sun. Multiple CMEs to observe, and as well, Earth-facing action. Look at that massive plasma ejection from our southern hemisphere of our sun. Most of that was directed southward, thank God. 
if that was all directed our way, that would have been an intense solar storm. That is a look at the last 48 hours of imagery. Let's go to. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're sitting up and over 230 earthquakes according to USGS. Largest being the 6.3 here in Port Vila, Vanuatu. 37 kilometer depth. Still seeing multiple aftershocks through China. And Kyrgyzstan border after the 7.0 earthquake reported there two days ago. No, that was yesterday. Yes, the 7.0 was yesterday. But I wanted to share here with you, this is the last four days for earthquakes around the world, and we've seen quite an uptick for large magnitude earthquakes. 7.0 there in China. We had the 6.6 .6 earthquake here in Brazil a few days ago, and that's very deep for the region. As well as 6.2 here reported south of Africa, south of Madagascar. This is just the last five days for earthquakes around the world. And notable here, activity up into California offshore, Klamath, California, 4.3 magnitude. And our deepest earth earthquake today, 530 kilometer depth of 3G region. 4.5 magnitude but very busy planet right now lots of shakers to talk about around the world many people feeling our planet rumbling right now heads up stay safe stay aware and prepared and have a plan everybody and if you're somewhere in the world feeling these earthquakes or being affected by them and you're watching right now please get in the comment section and let us know and welcome to the channel keeping humanity aware and prepared this is the last seven days for shakers around the world. Very deep, peculiar earthquake, Brazil there. So heads up, and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Almost 70,000 followers, keep sharing and caring. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by our active and erupting volcanoes. Right now we have 43 intense SO2 coming off of Popopcarito and as well volcanoes throughout Guatemala and Ecuador and as well Colombia. Intense SO2 coming off of Kamchatka as well, Eastern Russia and parts of Siberia. And of course, New Caledonia area, Aoba volcano and all through Indonesia where we have active volcanic chain throughout there, Luatolo and Luatobi, putting on quite a few eruptions over the past couple weeks. Overlooking Africa and Europe, SO2 models for the next three days. And I wanted to give a comparison here, SO2 versus CO2 Carbon emissions brought to you by mankind. SO2 brought to you by volcanoes. Quite a bit of intense CO2 buildup ahead of the low pressure system scooting across eastern parts of North America. And as well, a very polluted and carbon rich area, China and India. Just wanted to share a comparison, SO2 versus CO2. Now let's have a look at weather here, brought to you by windy.com, showing the next seven days forecast. Europe, you've got quite an intense week of weather systems affecting you. Three low pressure systems moving through, and in the long range, there will be a big one forming in the North Atlantic, and then affecting parts of Finland, Sweden, Norway, Look at the size of this low that develops in the long range forecast here. Very intense winds and as well waves, wind gusts are going to be very strong. Coming up 29th into the 30th, right into February 1st. Big system heading through. 
interesting development throughout both Pacific and Atlantic Oceans right now, overlooking North America. Lots of warm tropical moisture coming out of the Gulf, fueling a semi-heat wave into parts of eastern Canada. Higher elevations westward are still going to be cold. And lots of moisture here piling up along the coastline for BC and Alaska. Pretty strong system developing in the long range will be affecting the Aleutian Islands. But yeah, big system in the North Pacific, big system in the North Atlantic. Multiple cyclones here spinning in the Southern Hemisphere, east of Madagascar, and as well, South Indian Ocean. And of course, Australia, as I noted yesterday, that cyclone will be making landfall and is not expected or forecasted to leave land until the beginning of February. Other than that, no major cyclones or typhoons developing in the Northwest Pacific but the extreme cold will be swinging around yet again. Watch for a February freeze. By the middle of February, we will be locked into one of the most extreme cold events that we've seen on our planet. So stay tuned, stay aware and prepared with daily events worldwide, and thank you for being a part of this channel. Having a look here, forecast models for cold temperatures, purples being extreme cold, and blues, light blues, average. But most of the extreme cold is hanging out towards Greenland right now. We're gonna watch this Gulf push and bring a warm moisture straight up through Canada and into the Yukon. A little look here versus temperature for Europe and as well Russia. Watch that polar vortex in the long range swinging around so heads up, these models do change daily, and so does the subscription count. So please keep sharing and liking. Much love, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.